Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to talk about half racks, squat racks, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I have built here and how you can do one uh, yourself. I get a lot of questions about this. Um, so basically, this is probably the best half rack design setup that you could do for a low ceiling home gym. So as you can see, I've got some pretty good height restrictions here with these floor joists. They run about 72, 73 inches right from the ground. Um, so with that in mind, I, you know, it was pretty tough to do a full rack. You can get, you know, the shorter size full racks, but just me personally, I prefer the half rack. It feels a little bit more open. Um, you know, it, you can kind of take advantage of your floor space. It's easier to get in and out if you are going to use a wheel bench to, you know, put it up inside and, and bench press out of, um, yeah, so I just prefer a half rack in my opinion. So, um, yeah, let's just show you exactly what it is. Then I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to order it because it is a little bit confusing. You can't just go and buy this, um, like the HR2 conversion. Um, there's a few steps you have to take, so I'll show you exactly how to do that. So here is the beast right here, guys. Now you can see I've got room for plate storage on the back. Um, I've got just enough height across the top where I've got about an inch clearance. So it does fit in here very, very well. Super sturdy, not going anywhere. You know, there's a little bit of sway side to side, but front to back, there's nothing, um, depending on how much stuff that you can throw on it. And I'll just try to get a closer shot right here of everything. And it is a very nice setup. I'm very happy with it. There's nothing else I'd like to do with it other than maybe grow it like uh, a few feet, but I can't really do that with the, with the height restriction. So. That is the half wrap there in all its glory. Now I'll show you one more thing I was able to do to it. Now, depending on your setup, you might be able to do more with this than I was, but um, this was something I ordered separately too. I'll get the bar out of the way. <clears throat> so this is just a typical cross member. I believe it's um, XL43. It's a 43 inch cross member. Um, I just went with a standard plain one. Now this is great for a couple things. It's great for uh, band stuff. You can wrap, wrap a band, band around it really easily. Um, you could actually use it as a pull-up bar, depending on your space. I can't really do that because I find um, when I do pull-ups with my knees really high, <clears throat> I swing forward a bit and I'd hate to smash into those, those big beautiful mirrors. So I avoid doing that. Um, and it also helps with the sway. When, as soon as I put this in, it really reduced the amount of sway back and forth. Um, so between the, the cross member and the plate storage, that you're pretty well covered there for everything so um yeah yeah the rest of it is just standard rogue, rogue stuff that you could get on any rack um and yeah that's the setup now if you look on the inside here you actually can bench inside of these so i'll show you at the very bottom there i've got these uh these pins now you can't you can't bench inside of them if you're also using plate storage because there's just not enough space but there is about 16 inches from this post to this post so you could roll up a bench right about here and you could actually bench inside the rack off of pins which is pretty cool not something i do all the time because there's not a lot of space and i also have um, a bench over here that i use for that so all right so next i'm going to walk you through the website and show you exactly how you can order this for your setup all right so now let's take a minute and i'm going to show you exactly the steps that you guys need to do if you are interested in getting the hr2 conversion because it is a little bit confusing uh, a lot of new stuff on Rogue's website if you haven't checked it out. Um, all right, so we're going to go up here. Actually, we, we can just go to... Um, do, 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 do. Where's the racks? In stock? No, no, no. Rigs and racks. Sorry, that took a sec. All right, so we're going to go over here, and we're actually going to go to squat stands, which you might shake your head at. So this is my setup here that I started with. So I have the SML1. And you can see right here, the important thing is that the bar height, the post height is 72 inches. Now, for some reason, they don't have the HR2 add-on on the same page as, uh, as the SML1. So in my opinion, this is the best squat stand that you can get for the money. And it's very easy to turn it into a, a half rack. Um, so you see the whole thing. This was cheaper when I bought it. I think it was, um, I think it was 400 bucks now with the, uh, you know, with the, the jump and steel, everything's gone up about 10, 20%. So um, now I'm just going to search HR2 
to half rack conversion kit. So we don't wanna buy the half rack. The half rack comes fully assembled with the SML-2. So we wanna get the HR2 conversion kit. So you see right here. Now, here's what you wanna make sure that you do guys. So we wanna get the conversion kit. And then as we add it to the cart, so we'll say um, S series HR2 half rack conversion kit. So we'll get one of those monster light short Store. We're not going to worry about the plate storage for right now. So we're going to add that to cart. And then when we go to view cart. Um, oh, it doesn't actually give us that option. So let's go back here. Okay. Sorry, I, I confused myself there. So the HR2 conversion kit for the S series. Look at this. So this is the 70 inch post right here. Now, if you were to buy the actual HR2 um half rack it comes with everything so it comes with the the sml2 squat stand essentially with the 92 inch upright so we want to make sure that we get the conversion kit um hr2 because that's going to have the 70 inch post and that's going to allow us to build ourselves a very nice half rack with all the add-ons that we want um for a um well for less cost and it's going to fit perfectly and as you can see on mine both of the po posts line up the exact same height they're both exactly spot on uh, at 70 inches because although this is a 70 inch post and the if we look at the sml1 it does say um 72 inch um let me just see here it says 72 inch but that's from the bottom and it attaches to the same post. So you can see this post here, the 72 inch post, that's actually sitting on top of the floor mount base. So that's where you make up that extra two inches. So this is actually the same size, 70 inch post. Trust me, I own it. Um, so yeah, what I remember when I ordered that too, I was like, oh, are these gonna be like a little bit off or something like that? But uh, nope, that's exactly what they are. They line up to be about the same. So guys, I hope that helps you out. I had a lot of fun picking up my squat stand and what I was gonna do, um, you know, my rack. Um, for my gym, it, it's like the most exciting part of building a home gym because your, your gym is, is based around your squat rack and I could not be more happy with my setup. I love it. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. If you found the video helpful, make sure to share it around. Uh, just leave a like below and don't forget to subscribe because we are uh, posting home gym content all the time. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.